We're back again with some new developments in war-torn Philly. We have OT7 Kwani beefing with Chicago No Limit and OTF members, which could get deadly for the zesty perk head caterpillar from Jersey, who claims he's from Philly. OT7 Kwani has been getting pressed wherever he goes. I did a video a while ago about the Bronx kids getting at him and Shaw EK pressing him. OT7 Kwani has begun to heat back up. The Bronx wedgie victim has been having ill feelings towards the really New Jersey now. North Philly claiming Muppet Baby. Rumors of beef first started up almost a year ago. Kwani the diva he is took to Instagram to voice his frustrations like a tender John in wedgie man Shaw EK comment sections. Say the boy smell funny even though Kwani looks like he smells worse than a Kensington back alley. The Bronx diaper boy Shaw EK then was basically was like he gonna treat him when he sees him. Shaw EK later responded to Kwani dropping tea that Kwani been acting like a tender diva because Shaw EK never did a feature with him. Kwani after getting feelings hurt ran to link with D Thang and Shaw EK other ops. Was Kwani just thirsty for a New York stamp? Beanie Siegel wouldn't be proud. Will this beef between these young stars on the scene create a bigger war between Philly and New York artists? I hope not because neither of these goofies are the real face of the respective areas. And the pawn should never dictate any thinking in the streets. There is a lane for all the East Coast artists to unite and take over the scene back from Atlanta. New York and Philly working together is key. We can't let the store runners and Fenty addicts control the narrative. Suck my Don't get shot. Run my mother, you butt. Smoking dead. You dead. Stop you asking me for features. I dubbed you. Suck my You Come outside the field. You know why I'm at. Stupid suck my dick. don't get shot run my mother you butt smoking dead you dead stop you asking me for features I dubbed you suck my dick. you come outside the field you know why I'm at now we have big opera Pharaoh sunning Kwani Pharaoh is the top hitter for no limit and is a close friend to G Herbo and the lil cousin of the Chicago Joker Cairo. Kwani is talking crazy, like Pharaoh is a lil guy that needs a big homie, while he is his crew's big homie. No Limit Main, Ski, also called out the crumb Kwani, for deriding the owner of Hellstar Bull for clout and money. Bro, you know we've been in this music shit so long, little bro. We don't game, man. We at tables with these real people, folk. Yo, as a look up, you'll have your catalog, bro. Like, like Michael Jackson, bro, Eminem shit on cap, shorty. Yo, that ass ain't, hey, shorty. Yo, ass ain't got half of that, shorty. We work for this shit, shorty. You a little boy, little bro. You know what happened, little bro. We was having a conversation. You got in your feelings. Talking about you ain't little bro. I asked your ass your age. You 26, little bro. Then you dipping this shit. I'm 29, little bro. You dipping in business. You ain't got no business to dipping in, little bro. You had the man up to it. was not ready though, little bro. You stay in your lane, bro. You know what's up. We ain't doing no. It's not working, right? You steady want to keep going with this shit. Your bitch ass. Hey, little bro, you know. And told little boy Kwani to stay in his lane. All this happens as OT7 Kwani took to Instagram to further clown the slain Philly drill legend YBC Duel. Duel had a lot of love in Chicago and other places out of town. And Benji got caught in the nine, we took the car and we cut the wheels. And I'm on a plane with 50 bowls and they all vacuum shoes. That's an insta kill and BD swing the yap with skill. 
I think the streets will be hot for Kwani whenever, like Quilly says, he steps feet on land. More news has emerged about the assassination of YBC Duel. This is purely alleged info and should only be taken as street rumors at this point. According to the Instagram account THF Philly, which was the first to report on Duel's death while he was in the hospital in the following days, the account began to reveal details about what happened to Tower Wies. THF reported that members of the M24 set, which operates out of Olney, got the drop on Duel. They learned the location of Baby 35th Street's house and staked it out for several hours. A woman was driving with Baby in the passenger seat and YBC Duel in the back seat. The M24 members followed them until they made their move. This is obviously an unofficial story and there are more details I'm holding back for now. When the time is right, all the details will come out. But for now, this is what we know. I want to stress that these are street rumors and I'm not making any accusations. One member of M24, known as Brody, addressed the rumors, saying, One thing about me, I stand on everything I've ever done. You don't need to add extra stuff to my name. You fan out, just attaching my name to anything. I don't even know you guys. Other than that, I'm not clearing anything up. If they say I did something, then I did it. As for the official account, news reports state that Abdulvix, better known as YBC Duel, had picked up a friend from the 5500 block of North 6th Street in Olney around 3.30 p.m. According to Deputy Police Commissioner Frank Venor, a few minutes later, surveillance footage shows that as Vix was driving a white Hyundai rental car, it slowed to a stop at a red light on the 5500 block of North Fairhill Street. Another car pulled up beside it and as previously mentioned, one passenger fired multiple shots into the driver's side of Vic's car before speeding off. Vix was hit in the chest and hand, Venora reported. Vix's car then reversed before driving forward. The friend who was in the passenger seat eventually took control of the vehicle, driving half a block to his house on North 6th Street. He quickly picked up another man, and together they rushed Vix, who was 25 years old, to Einstein Medical Center where Venora said he was pronounced dead within minutes. No arrests have been made. Venora said it's unclear how many gunmen were involved or how many shots were fired. Police did not find any ballistic evidence at the scene. Not long after the shooting, police recovered a stolen car they believe may be linked to the crime. The car had been set on fire and was found burning in a lot on the 6900 block of North 15th Street, Venner said. Ballistic evidence was recovered inside the vehicle. So much new information is coming hourly so we'll try to keep y'all hip. Beware that it's hot in the streets and know where you be at. You could easily ended up scoomed out because of where you are and who you are with. Stay locked in with real oppas and subscribed for all the latest in the trenches. Stay dangerous.